Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuestor.com. Today I'll be going over creating reports from the WSS logging database. I'll be using SharePoint 2010 and specifically we'll be looking at the job usage uh, reports that we can generate and see how long our jobs are taking to uh, process. Uh, so for that, first I went into uh, into my SQL Server and I expanded the WSS logging database. Notice there's a lot of tables in there. Uh, the tables I'm interested in is the job usage. There's a lot of partitions in there, so I don't know where uh, where the content sits right now. Where the content I want should be in the in the last partition. It's writing into the last partition. So I'm gonna get the partition that contains. Uh, the information I want to report against first and for that I'm going to write a query here so basically go to the database and just click new query we're going to use the WSS logging database and we're going to say select all from configuration where config name equals to max partition ID timer job usage and we'll go ahead and execute this okay so I'm looking for number 22 I'm gonna keep that in mind because that's the table I want to connect to from my uh, Excel uh, interface so back on Microsoft Excel switch over to data uh, from other data sources from SQL Server I'm gonna plug in the name of my SQL Server host Here's my SQL Server host. Next, we are going to be looking at our WSS logging table. And in there, we're going to be looking at partition 22 for timer job, partition 22. Here we go. So that's the table. Go back and confirm. That's where we need to be. All right. So that's, the, that's what uh, contains this content. We'll go ahead and click Next. We'll go ahead and click Finish. We'll do a pivot table report and go ahead and click on OK. Next, we're going to add the fields to our scope of the pivot table. So we're going to do uh, first, let's do machine name. And then we'll do web application name. So we'll go by machine name, web application name, and then we're going to get the job title in here. And then Let's look for the duration. Duration. And we're going to grab this and we're going to put it under values. Cool. So we're going to close this. This generated a nice report for us. We'll know exactly per machine, per web application, the job name, and the duration it's taking to perform this these jobs in SharePoint. Nicely generated report for all the different web applications. This concludes this video. Thank you for tuning in and until next time.